Well, it will come as no surprise for many that human-induced climate change played a major role in the devastating November 2021 floods here in British Columbia. The number we now have is 60%. That's according to a group of scientists, including from Environment and Climate Change Canada, that ran several simulations of our atmosphere with and without human-caused climate change and found that the atmospheric river setup was 60% more likely to have occurred because of climate change. The resulting rainfall, also 60% more likely to have occurred. And the stream flow from the melt in our mountain snowpack to that rainfall that filled our rivers up. Take a listen to one of the authors on how surprising that is. I'd say it was it was in line with my expectations in that we know that a warming climate can hold more um, more water vapor, so that means more extreme rainfall. Um, but yeah, until we did the study, we couldn't put um, hard numbers on how that risk, how that probability had changed due to uh, due to climate change. It was quite striking, uh, you know, a factor of two to four increase in the chance of these kind of um, high stream flow events. Now, having a number like 60% to be able to attribute a climate change infused event to is important not only to communicate to people affected how climate change is changing uh, conditions around us, but also for planning purposes. Take a listen. You know, how often is a flood of this magnitude going to happen? Um, is it just a small change in, in risk or is it, as we found, you know, a, a two to four times increased probability of this kind of event? So that can help. Um, help when you're when you're rebuilding bridges, when you're um, rebuilding infrastructure or building new infrastructure, it can help um, inform those kind of decisions. This is the same working group that was able to attribute the heat dome last summer in British Columbia also to climate change, saying that it was 150 times more likely to have occurred because of climate change. The authors say they're now working on a semi-permanent group to be able to rapidly attribute future natural disasters to climate change. I'll keep you posted. And now you're science smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet. I'll try to get it answered.